With this video on the master data information add-on, I will show you how to use languages in master data information. One of the purposes of this is to be able across companies to distribute the language into the different fields on the item cards, the long description field and the description field. And of course, to hold the language information if you publish it to the web or any external where you need the information. So let's go into NAV and look at our mountain bike again. We open the item card for the mountain bike and when I mouse over the long description, I can see that a hop gear and it says 29 inch and it's, it says in the end that it's a mountain bike and it's white. And when I enter the, the text, for instance, on this bike, my sales info, it says long delivery time may occur. Now on the navigate button, I have the language where I can enter language in different language codes. So I can enter language in all three levels of my master data information. In this uh, example, the language, languages uh, are entered directly on this item. So this is specific for item number 1002. I could have also have chosen in, for instance, the specification on my color. When I enter my color, I could say that my color white has some languages. Those are in the middle layer. So this will ref uh, refer to all my items or customers or vendors that has the color white. So this is a little chunked up and I don't have to maintain data as many places as if it was per item. So I could enter color on this level because the color is one of the, mass, uh, the information value to an information code. Or even if I have information on the information code level, for instance, the wheel diameter, which is the top level, I could also add language in here saying that uh, wheel diameter has different uh, language codes uh, also. So if this information is used when the long item description or the description is created, um, it will actually be possible to use the language from in here. So if I go to my master data information setup, and I say, um, imagine we, we distribute this information to another company using, for instance, our add-on for master data exchange. We might have two companies with the same master data, but in the other company, it's a Danish company. So we want to add Danish as a standard language in here. And when I go back to my item card and I run my batch job for updating the long descriptions that we have in here, we also have a report for updating all items in one go. When I mouse over the description, I can see it says Juldiameter and it says Vid, which is white and wheel diameter in Danish, which I'm good at. So in this way, it's possible to maintain data in one company only in all languages, distributing them for web information, for client information or whatever, but also to maintain a long description that is different in different companies, even though the data is actually the same lying underneath. This is very nice.